Hey y'all, this is A. Renee from Journal Jot and Job. If this is your first time stopping by the channel, welcome to the channel. If you are a returning subscriber, hey y'all, welcome to Monday, y'all. All right, so by the title, it should say something like plan and journal with me. So in today's video, I am going to do a couple of things. I'm gonna actually write out my list for today on this pad. This pad is by Gold Mine and Coco. It's a daily pad, super cool. You can write whatever your priorities, notes, follow up, focus, and gratitude. If you want, you can actually store it in your planner, whichever planner that you're using, or you could just keep it on your desk. So I'll be keeping mine on my desk for the sake of. After that, I'm gonna go ahead and set up for the remainder of the week in my um, disc bound planner. I've already wrote some stuff out for the week, but I did not do my brain dump and I like to do a brain dump in the event that I don't go back to my planner as a whole. And speaking to going back to the planner, I thought I would give y'all a little story time before I speed the rest of this video up. Cause why not? I feel like we plan, we talk about planning and sometimes we need to admit that we don't plan effectively or we don't look at what we plan. So the other day, you know, I was minding everybody's business but my own apparently. And something said, so let's go mind your own business. And so I started logging in and looking at uh, things that need to be done. And one of the things that needed to be done was I needed to pay a bill. All right. And so this particular bill, honey, I ain't have it when it was due on the due date. But you get a little grace period. You get a little grace period. So I was like, okay, you got a little grace period. Well, the grace period was October 21st, 2022. And, um, mm -hmm. Adrian didn't check until October 22nd. And so with that being said, honey, my car insurance, baby, they was like, oh, oh so you ain't want to pay? So we're going to lapse you on out. We're going to lapse you on out. And so I said, oh, shoot, shoot. Those were my exact words. But I said, oh, shoot. Mm -hmm. We're doing that for the, for the camera. I was like, oh, shoot. So then I went in and I paid. Well, you know, it's a Saturday. It's a Saturday. And so since it's a Saturday, I paid on the site. And I'm like, well, let me go and double check. Something said, well, double check because I work on Sundays. And I was like, well, double check and see what it says. Well, yeah, my insurance information is no longer out there, okay? So I said, oh, well, let me call the the number. And of course the office is closed, so they send you to a 24 hour uh, 24 hour call center. So I'm on the call center and you know, the guy, he's like, oh. Oh, well yeah, I was like. Hey, uh, so I just made this payment and I know it's a day late, dollar short. Whatever you want to call it, it wasn't a dollar short, but it was a day late for sure. And so I was like. I just need to know, um, is my insurance reactivated, okay? So he was like, well. I won't be able to see on my end and you know they don't open they don't do policy work over the weekend so you're gonna have to wait until monday I'm like i know you lying and again those were my exact words but i'm like okay shoot so what are we gonna do one thing about me one thing for certain two things for sure is that how i go um i might have a little hood in me here and there and i might be you know Look gangsta in some areas, but one area I'm not gangsta in, your girl ain't trying to go to jail. And so, you know, it's illegal to drive without insurance. And I know some of y'all like, girl, I've been driving without insurance. Or you probably like, oh, I didn't roll dirty for a long time. Well, that's good for you. Okay, that's real good for you. Kudos. Um, you get a hand clap, pat on the back. But one thing that I can't do, she ain't trying to sit in nobody in jail. And so I don't work that close. I work, you know, in Metro Atlanta terms, I work 15 minutes from the house, but really 20. And where I work, you know, it'd be cop action around a lot. And I was like, I just feel like, mm, that's not gonna be in my best interest to try that out. I don't really need to see. And the funny thing is years ago, one of my close uh, friends, she, um, I ain't saying no name, so y'all ain't gonna know. But she ended up going to jail. We were young, y'all. She ended up going to jail because she had no insurance on her car. And for her to tell the story, and it was, she was in a holding cell, okay? She didn't get put in population. And I know some of y'all like, well, somebody that time about they ain't going to jail, how you know? Honey, I bailed people out, okay? I bailed people out. That's a whole nother story, but we're not gonna go there. 
So anyway, um, you know, her story was enough for me to know that I'm not about that life. And so I know you're also like, well, why didn't you just call the Uber? Well, honey, I just paid $213 for some insurance. And I know y'all like, hey, 213 mm -hmm, 213 insurance has gone up. That's a whole nother story. So I had to message my clients and say, hey, I ain't gonna be able to make it work. So thankfully I have accommodating clients, so they will be coming in later this week. So I had to get up on this good here Monday and wait till 8.30, so now my child is late to school. Uh, he ain't get on the bus, mind your business. So he ain't get on the bus, so you know, he's sleeping good. He is in hog heaven because he gets to sleep in. So I finally called and she was like, oh. Well, yeah, the payment takes a minute to process, but you're, you're free to drive because it shows that you paid on the 22nd. And so then I drop him off at the school, y'all. I'm like. <laughs> Do I gotta walk you in? Cause you know, I was really trying to, at this point I was trying to thug it, drop him off on the side and let him fend for himself, just take hey, sign on in. He was like, nah. Uh, I think you might have to walk me in. So I walk into school, one mama dropped her child off and was like, peace out Cub Scout. And she walking in looking crazy. And so they have like this little front thing you walk in. So I'm like, he was like, hey. Ma'am, how you doing? I'm like, yeah, so. Do I have to sign him in? And he, he was like, well, yeah, one moment. So then he hands me this slip. This man gonna hand me this slip and it says school starts at 8 a.m. Um, consequences will be had. Parents, we need your help. Bruh, this is his first time being late to school. Don't be trying me. You don't even know me. I ain't no regular like that. But anyway, I thought that was funny. So that will be something that will go in my journal entry. So for some of y'all that are like, well, what do you write in your journal entry? When I say your journal should read like a book and not a broken record, that's how. You write those little small um things that you did and so after i left his school i went to the grocery store um so you see me writing this now so it's almost like i'm back planning some of this so i went to the grocery store and got some stuff for the stationary soup no stationary salad and soup challenge that i'm doing in my facebook group so it's been quite an eventful morning mm -hmm, it has and so now I'm gonna prepare to set up my planner and get the rest of my day going. But I just thought I'd give y'all a little story time. All right, so now that y'all had some insight in my day, hopefully you've had some creativity start on your Monday and you have something to write about later this evening when you're writing your journal. But until then, we're gonna go ahead and get into this. So I'm gonna speed this up and I'll come and chat with y'all at the end. Let's get into it.
All right, y'all. So I am done setting up for the week. I've done my first Monday journal entry. I have done a daily sheet. Not a daily sheet. Yeah, no, a daily sheet on a notepad. So the daily sheet on the notepad, I've also done my brain dump for this week. Some of the stuff is already plugged in the planner. And then in between the weeks, y'all, because I already started writing stuff in between this particular week. Y'all can't see that. How about I move this so y'all can see? Okay, so as I was saying, I did my daily sheet. So some of this stuff can be checked off. I think I mentioned earlier that I was really kind of back planning because I had started my day. So some of this stuff can be checked off the list. You want to make sure you're checking your list off throughout the day, especially if you have it in front of you. So go ahead and check off what you have done. And that keeps and holds you accountable, okay? So what I did inside of here... I added some extra sheets so this is inside of the week some of the stuff I've already plugged in and then I just put some sheets on the inside of each week so when I want to do a daily sheet it's already there all right as I mentioned in the video yesterday I ended up moving down to this size I'll link that video above in the i card so you can check it out if you haven't i'm talking about the planner that i'll be using in 2023 next year but i also gave you a little insight into what i've been using and what i'm currently using all right and then lastly i did a journal entry i talked about my morning again anytime i allow you to see a journal entry it's because it's okay it's nothing in there that i don't want you to see all right so i did a morning reflection and then i also did something uh, towards self-care need to work on getting my nails stronger because child for my birthday my child got me a gift card to use and he was like specifically to get my nails done so i'll eventually get back into getting just basic manicures i want to get my nails stronger so i started taking some vitamins actually these are the vitamins that i am taking right now got a little extra collagen and biotin added in so hopefully those help. I've taken them in the past and they did good. So we'll see this time. All right, y'all. So if you have made it this far, that means I'm either helping you through your job. Mm -hmm, I am. Or you like something about me or you like your life. feel like changing the channel. But nonetheless, you're still here. All right. So if that's the case, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, that notification bell and share and like. Did I say all those words? So anytime I post, you are in the know. I'll catch you on the next one.